delight to be back playing looking at the king's band now it looks as good as it did to me on friday night and uh you know it was great to get back out of the team i think we've uh, made some strides over the summer and uh, no it's great to be part of it again it's been a long time since you played um it must have been really difficult for you yeah, I think we were, we were thinking back to it and it was uh, Leicester away last year, which was a successful night. But yeah, I was gutted to miss out on some uh, some really good games at the end of last season. But no, it was, I was chuffed a bit to, to be back out there, and especially in front of a great crowd and to, to get a good win was, was even better. One of the things the guys always talk about here is when you're not playing, it gives you the opportunity to work on other things. Um, is there anything in particular you've been focusing on? Uh, yeah, I've, I've I've been finishing off doing up this house in uh, Belfast that my, my girlfriend and I have been doing, and then we've got a young puppy now, where uh, so that's the stuff away from uh, from rugby. But on t in terms of uh, what we do behind the scenes here, Dan Soap has been invaluable to me and the rest of the injured guys. In the time that the guys were away in South Africa, we were we were doing skills work uh, uh, night and day, really, just uh, when we were here, and then. Uh, uh, the Shane Carney who's come in as a rehab leader has really added value to the physio department that was already doing a tremendous job so uh, no we weren't short of things to do when the guys were away in South Africa and you kind of feel like you come out of an injury better than you were before which is always a good position. It must have been an emotional roller coaster for you in and out of international squads watching on watching how things are progressing during the World Cup tell us about some of your thoughts during that time. Yeah, no, it's been actually really tough at times. Uh, initially, missing out on the World Cup squad was devastating, and then you, you, you look to kick on and change your targets. Obviously, I've been probably since I, I made the choice to come over to Ulster in the back of my mind, it was a target. And when that doesn't quite come to fruition, yeah, it's gutting, but you have to move on quickly to what the next target is. And I try to do that, and then you get an injury and a setback straight away. But as with every other rugby player in the world, you have these setbacks and you learn from them, you, you become stronger for them. So uh, hopefully, uh, I'll be in good stead for having these little knocks uh, that I've had but uh, no it's something I've I've really enjoyed is uh, is uh, building some resilience against these kind of things and uh, no unfortunately didn't make the World Cup but the next target for us is winning games consistently for Ulster and uh, yeah we've got the European games coming up uh, but in front of that we've got some pretty big Pro 14 games. Well here's Will Addison hasn't played for Ulster since January. You look like you fitted right back in uh, straight away on Friday night, getting your hands on a lot of ball, a few big hits. It must be really enjoyable to feel that contact and be out in front of the big crowd again. Yeah, no, it was great to be out there. But me myself, I wasn't totally happy with my performance, and uh, neither were the team. We had a good first 20 minutes, and probably I, my performance was enigmatic of the rest of the team because kind of dropped off. And what I'll be looking on next is building on a full 80-minute performance, as will the rest of the team. And you know, that's what I'm looking forward to next is the way we train and the way we go about our day to day. You find it very easy to bed in, and uh, my next challenge is, is looking to uh, kick, to kick on from that. What have you made of the season so far? Obviously, disappointing to lose a game, but at the same point. Uh, we're still well up there in the mix in the playoff spots. Absolutely, I think uh, you'd probably say that hands down we've got the tougher conference this year and so far we've gone well. Obviously the, the result over at Cheetahs was it was disappointing but you look at going off uh, the back of the travel that we did do and it was always going to be a tough ask and uh, we'll have them coming over here in the new year and we'll look to, to get our own back but in terms of the performances we, we can only control what we've done and uh, to beat Cardiff at home we're historically one of the better teams and uh, and then Ospreys at home first game was a was was a, was a good one and we'll look to kick on that again next week against Zebra and keep that home form going. What's some of the focus been then for the team this week following the Cardiff game looking ahead to Zebra? Oh, you look at the Zebra they've, they kicked on last year and uh, they've probably got 9-11 internationals come back into the frame for them and to hold Lentz to probably the standout team for, for the last five six years to a 3-0 defeat isn't isn't something to be proud of but they'll be they'll take some confidence from that um but yeah it's, it stands them in good stead but um someone like carlo canna you really look out for i've played against him a couple of times for ireland and he's immensely dangerous and uh i'm sure he and the rest of those italian internationals will be looking to make an impact for zebra this weekend i know you don't want to look too far ahead or the team doesn't look too far ahead but there's an incredible run of games coming up and i'm sure you're really looking forward to those yeah and uh, we did a great job behind the scenes of bringing in someone like matt fardis sam carter bill johnson and jack mcgrath this year with, with tremendous astute signings just to build that strength and depth that we now feel that with the the experience the young fellas got last year we've got a squad that really can compete on both fronts and we're going to have to do that in the next 14 weeks because uh, the the pro 14 games we've got a number of uh, inter pros and then the the heineken cup never gets any easier especially when you've got teams like Bath, Claremont uh, and Harlequins coming up so no it's, it's really exciting and we'll be looking to, to get stuck into it.